president i would like to congratulate you on being elected although i feel that this morning it has been more like a papal inauguration and it is rather a shame that this parliament if it was a proper parliament would actually select members to sit in the chair on ability and not have the usual big group stitch up so that is rather a shame and I think the signs for change here aren't very good. Just yesterday we had Eurocorps, armed Eurocorps soldiers carrying the European flag around the courtyard outside, a sort of European Union version of Trooping the Colour. We had an orchestra, we had the anthem, we had a choir. We started today, didn't we, with the anthem. This is the same flag and anthem that you said had been dropped after the French and Dutch very sensibly said no to the dreaded EU constitution. You are not even pretending anymore. You are pushing ahead with all the symbols of statehood and trying at the same time to lie and cheat with the Irish by giving them a series of guarantees that are not worth the paper that they are written on. Well, I can tell you that many of us in this Europe of Freedom and Democracy group will do all we can to help the no side in that Irish referendum. The future of European democracy rests very heavily on Irish shoulders. You fought, Mr President, against the Soviet Union. You fought for democracy. You fought for national self-determination. If you continue to ignore the democratic voice of countries like France, the Netherlands and Ireland, then you will turn the European Union back into that very union that you fought so hard against. Listen to the people, please. Thank you, everybody. The answer to 1984 is 1776.